Hello everyone, this video is for aiding users with the DPO Inbox tool. The operational life cycle for privacy management is about how an organization should assess risk in the processes, protect by having a risk mitigation plan, sustain the privacy program, and respond to stakeholder queries and breaches of any. The focus of this video is on sustain. Sustain has three components, monitoring, auditing, and communications. In this video, we shall cover the monitor aspect of sustain. Monitor in data protection means keeping track of the program amongst the individuals involved. It's done in two steps, one focused on learning and the other focused on assessment. To set the context, in February 2021, Singapore government announced significant amendments to PDPA. And as a DPO, you would like everyone in the organization to become aware of the changes. Let me show how you as a DPO can ensure the learning and conduct the assessment in a few steps using DPO Inbox, a data protection management tool. I'm in the home screen of DPO Inbox. The top orange color bar shows the four components of the operational life cycle. Let me click on sustain and then the e-learning. And then I click on the new campaign as every event is seen as a new campaign by the system. I first give a name to the campaign, PDPA update. And then I give a description uh, to, the, uh, to the campaign. And then I, I scroll down to choose the e-learning course, right? So, so it's the PDPA, I click on the PDPA and if required, if I want to have a preview of the course, I just click on the preview course, choose the course and then have a look at it uh, to see whether I'm choosing the right course to be sent to the various uh, employees. Welcome to the Personal Data Protection Act of so they, e-learning program. So once you're uh, comfortable with it, you close that and you go to the next uh, step. The next step basically is email subject. You might just want to say urgent read. And then you greet your participants, dear team. And then what's the message you want to send? I mean, you might want to say this is a mandatory uh, read. Uh, and has to be done ASAP, right? Within seven days. And then you sign off. You can say DP office. Then you click on the next, where you choose the recipients and you want all staff to get it. So you click on the all staff. And by the way, you can create your own contact list and then, um, and then update it into the system. So whenever you want, uh, you can choose the different contact uh, list as you would like to send to. Click on the next. And then uh, it gives you a, uh, an overview of what the campaign looks like. And if you're satisfied with it, uh, click on the start campaign. Now, this, this is the after the campaign is launched, this is the screen you see um, a couple of things here. So here it gives you the campaign URL. So in case um, a lot of people have not um, um, read it or they approach you as a DPO to say, hey, uh, please send me the link again. You just copy the link and then send it to them. Or if you see that, um, you know, it's just read, which means the campaign has not been read by any one of them, you might want to resend it. And then I'll show you the importance of this pie chart as we move along, right? So that's the the learning aspect of it. Now, next is the, um, the, the conducting the tests and um, quizzes, which is the manage test. So... Um, so here, the, the tool helps the DPO administer the assessments with, again, just a few clicks, as we saw in the uh, learning aspect. Uh, it also keeps track uh, of the individual performances and, again, presents a dashboard. So let's click on one. Again, it's a new campaign. And then uh, you name your campaign. You can say it's um, a PDPA uh, update assessment. And then you can describe your campaign, which says, you know, um, assess learnings of the amendments to the PDPA. Again, you choose the, whichever test you want um, the, the users to um, address. And then you click on the next. Here again, it gives you an ability to set some parameters. Parameters such as the time, the duration of the test, 
what's the passing mark if you want to up the ante you can set it to say 80 and if you want the candidates to do it within a shorter time it's 45 you want them to do all the test questions and if you want to allow the recipients to retake the quiz just click on that and then press the next button Oh, this is an interesting one. So this one uh, helps you show pass or fail, or you want them to see the correct answers. Uh, you can display that also. Click on the next. So you choose the subject here. Uh, you can just say um, competency tests. Treat your recipients. As always, they're all part of the team. If you want to uh, give a, um, a message, It's a mandatory assessment. You want them to complete it before 30th of July, and then you sign it off. Click on the next. Again, choose uh, the recipients as you want all of them to take the test. You choose all staff, and then click on the next. It gives you a summary of the uh, campaign that you want to run, the competency test that you want to run as a DPO. If all is OK, then click on Start Campaign. Just as you saw in learning, it gives you the similar feel uh, the campaign URL for people who would want to um, request you uh, for the link again. If none of them have um, have uh, clicked on the campaign or clicked on the test, you can resend this again as a reminder. Uh, the color coding is slightly different here because here you have assigned it. Uh, then it also tells you whether people have passed the test or, or uh, you know, did not pass the test. So let's have a quick look at the um, at the dashboard which I mentioned earlier. So, so let's click on one and then you see the pie chart here. It tells you, as you saw, if you remember, uh, when the campaign just began, it was all in red. Uh, and then as as and when uh, the, 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 the candidates, uh, you know, read the, um, read the uh, information that's been sent, the learning campaign that's been done, then it shows the completed status here in green color. Uh, similarly, for the competency test, let's pick one of them. So you see the different color here. So those who have taken the test and then passed it, chosen green color, those who have taken the test and have not hit the minimum uh, qualifying marks, uh, it shows in red color here. So that's um, that's the uh, uh, both the learning aspect and the assessment aspect here. Let me go back to the deck. So in summary, monitoring the implemented privacy program is key to sustaining it and using a tool to make the employees aware of the learning modules and assessing their assimilation of the knowledge done using a tool will demonstrate accountability. You can sign up for a free account at www.dpoinbox.com or request a full demo of the tool by sending me an email, as you see at the bottom. Until I see you in the next video, stay safe, stay protected. Cheers.